friends welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be setting up our health layouts for the next week in March and I've got my sticker sheets ready to go as well as these markers I'm going to use and the sticker books which I pulled from okay you guys so I, I had a good idea well at least I thought it was a good idea at the time I saw a sticker that I'm using for my rest day and it has kind of this geometric pattern on it and I thought that would be really cool as a background kind of tying it in in my focus section or my goal section here so I started to draw something out and the idea originally was to color in the individual areas very similar to the sticker. But um, as I was doing it, I was rethinking that just because I had highlighters to use and highlighters just don't do a very smooth, solid background. There's always that overlap that kind of looks weird and inky and I didn't really want that and my, the highlighters I was going to use are not erasable so I didn't want to like lay it down and then just decide, oh, this is terrible and not have a way to get rid of it. So. I'm penciling in the lines now just to get an idea of the shapes that I want to do. I've decided to start with outlining the lines or the, the shapes with the pens to begin, just to see how I like it. I am freewheeling the lines right now. I'm just trying to make it look kind of similar to that sticker which um, I showed in the very beginning but you'll see it in a minute and see how the shape actually looks. There's no guide here I'm just trying to make it look good as I go. Okay so I think I have a basis here and I'm going to start outlining it like I mentioned. I'm using a color scheme this week based off of that same sticker. So there is green, blue, and purple in that sticker. And so I thought that'd be a nice color scheme. However, the purple is not as prevalent as I thought it was in the health stickers. So I started pulling some things and getting things started. And then when I actually tried to kind of fill out the rest outside of the goals section here that I'm setting up, there really wasn't a lot of purple so it's got hints of purple but it's mainly bright blue to green tones throughout the rest of this red mainly it's more green and and blue with a touch of purple let's just say that so what i'm trying to do here on the focus section is spread the colors out in sort of a gradient so it'll be kind of green to blue to purple and then back again back to green so from the middle going back from purple, blue, and then green. And I'm adding in a few lines as I go because about this time I realized I wasn't going to color them in. Um, as I saw them lay down on the sheet, I thought, well, they kind of look like lasers. <laughs> so it reminded me of like the 80s and um, how lasers were big then. So I just decided to go with that and not cause myself too much strife trying to figure out coloring in the background and making it look good. The only thing I regret about this though is that coloring over the pencil lines sets the graphite into the page so I couldn't erase it once it was in there. You see I'm trying to erase here. The only thing that actually comes up is anything that's not covered in the highlighter ink. Just a tip, if you do want to get a, a template going for a specific highlighter project, be sure you erase the lines, or at least most of them, before you actually lay it down. Just leave yourself enough to kind of guide you in your shape of what you're trying to do. Otherwise, they'll be stuck into the ink. Okay, so this is that sticker I was talking about before that was kind of the inspiration for this whole thing. And... Hmm, where did I get that sticker from? I'm trying to think. It obviously came out of one of those books. Um, hmm. If I remember, I will put it in the I will put it in the description below. 
But um, yeah, so that sticker was the basis of it. And then I grabbed the Washi Fitness sticker book that I have just to kind of use up some of those stickers, Let's see if there's anything that pertained to this color scheme. I really like those plus sign washi strips that I found in there shown below and then also these little workout stickers I thought worked well as an alternative to my normal labeling of my workout section. Again back to the lack of purple so mainly kind of teal to softer greens and a little bit on the blue side. I'm laying in the section here with my decor and the idea as you can see on the sticker sheet is to kind of go in a gradient from green, blue to purple. Originally I thought I would have more of a background to lay on so I'm just trying to figure out how I want these to lay over the so-called lasers <laughs> that I have on here. I wasn't real sure if I liked it the way it was. I thought about like cutting these where the lines hit so they look like they were kind of going behind the lines and I just had some ideas but I really just didn't want to think too hard <laughs> to be honest as I started to lay it in with the lasers not being um, the background I had originally planned for I just decided to lay over my decor on top of it and just let it be. In the end, I think it came out still pretty cute. I, I will like looking at it, but I'll probably be thinking about the whole struggle here. And I pull the mix of these workout gear stickers from both the regular size and the mini Healthy Hero sticker books. And I have quite a few of the regular size sticker books of the Healthy Hero. The idea was not to overwhelm the background with big stickers. I didn't want it to feel like it was just chock full of stuff. So the mini stickers kind of helped bridge the gap there. And now I'm just trying to lay in these last pieces, trying to make sure that it looks as spacious as the other ones, but not like there's a gap. And okay, I think that looks pretty good. So once I got it all in, I was a little bit happier with the result. So yeah, I think the lasers kind of come across. You kind of get it. <laughs> Kind of. Um, I really like this washi like I mentioned before. I don't know if it was the best match for this spread. I laid it in, but I left it. I just left it as is, so you'll see how it is. I thought it would be good to cut these guys into quarters, long ways, and then in half, and lay those into my food log as kind of an extra decor piece and see how that looked. I think the reason I didn't care for it in the end as much is that it is a big draw for the eye and kind of takes away from the decor a bit. Right now I'm measuring the size of the washi, which is actually six inches. So I can go at three inches, divide it in half, make sure that that works. I didn't do an exact halving of it lengthwise, so some are a little bit fatter and a little bit thinner than the others, but as I was laying them down, I wanted to make sure that I was laying them in with the gradient of the color I wanted facing up. So some of them I'm switching back and forth as far as um, tonally how they match up. And you can see here, this one's a little bit skinnier than the others, just a bit.
I think this would have been a good place to use some purple instead of more of the green just to tie it in because the stat stickers at the bottom are green. The workout stuff is kind of green at the top and then I have the green blue sidebar ready to go as well. So adding in the purple here would have been a little bit better, but there was no purple in the washi sticker book, the health washi sticker book. Okay, so I'm laying in the sidebar now. And I just like that this had the right colors in it, this little sweat it out. And I think I'm gonna place it right underneath here just to fill that space. And then add this little routine sticker, which also is from the washi sticker book here as well. Okay, so I'm going to trim these guys out because they're just a smidge long. And while I saw it, I decided to clean up a little bit some of the overlap over the lines that I did with the highlighters. And I'm using a Jelly Roll white pen, which if you are interested in it, just a, it's just a regular white opaque ink pen. Nothing special about it as far as it's not made specifically for whiting things out, but it will be in the description below if you want a closer look at it. Uh, it just works really good for fine lines, getting rid of fine lines on your spread or small mistakes. Okay, so I have those all trimmed out. And now I'm going to add in my stat stickers. These are from the newer fitness sticker book and I had the hardest time putting these in straight. The way that they are designed, they're not ideal. I'm only using them because I am so low on stat stickers and they have color schemes that are working with the spreads I'm using but uh, I think in the future I'm going to be making my own stat stickers. The way that these are just kind of wrapping around the watch is not working for me and um, I can't just keep buying sticker books for stat stickers. So I will be figuring something out there. And they're all the same color. I, I didn't have the right mix of colors for these, so this is it. And now that I've got them laid in, I think we are done, friends. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.